If you're going to be shooting on one device and editing on another, being able to manage the media between your devices can actually be pretty important. So basically what we're looking at is if I open up photos on my iPad, and you'll see I've got some media on there, and then I open up photos on my iPhone, and we'll see that I've got some media there. They're pretty much matching right now because they're pretty current. So I do have iCloud syncing on, and if I shoot something that's large, it might take a while for it to show up. So if I just open this up and I'll shoot a video clip and I'll kind of just pan a little bit, looking cool. So I just tap it and there's the photo. Now I don't see it showing up on the iPad just yet. It's a video. It's gonna take a little while to upload. And if I'm not plugged in with power, there are times when my phone won't upload videos and synchronize them. So generally, it'll synchronize if it has enough battery. The phone kind of makes the decision on its own based on its power settings. So it'll upload the videos and keep them synchronized if I have iCloud Photo Sync on. So if I go ahead and open up the photos settings in the menu there, you can see I've got iCloud Photos on right there. So if I've got that on in both places, it's going to automatically upload and safely store the pictures and they'll just start showing up. Now, if it doesn't automatically show up on your other device, if it's really large and it's just going to take some time to get there, you can send it. But you'll see, look at that, boom, just while I'm talking there, gave it some time, it eventually showed up. I can send it from one device to the other. So I can tap it, I tap the little share button in the bottom left corner, and I can go ahead and airdrop it and send it to my iPad right there. So I'm looking at my iPhone, I tap it, and it'll pop over and show up on my iPad. So having the media ready to go before you start working is going to be important. You might even consider putting it in an album. So if you look at my iPad here and I scroll down a little bit, you'll see I've got a couple of different albums. And I've got uh, one right here that says movie editing, and that's got a bunch of clips in it right there. So that's where I'm going to use with iMovie to pull from for my source material. I can put stuff in there before I start working with iMovie. It doesn't mean that I can't get it later with iMovie. I can get anything that's been on my phone or shoot anything, but it just makes it a little more organized so that you're always pulling from the same place and you don't have to scroll through years and years of photos or something or to just try to find the footage that you've shot for this one event.